Hey, welcome back to Skinny Scatter. Today we're going to be talking about how to assemble your personal first aid kit. Let's get started. So, whether you're camping or you're going on a long hike, you're going to need a first aid kit. So, something to keep in mind is that this is your personal first aid kit and it's only meant to serve you. So everyone else in your troop will have their own personal first aid kit and your troop leader should also carry with them a trauma kit for more major injuries. Some things that might be in your troop first aid kit are tourniquets and pressure bandages. Now you don't need to worry about this, but before you go on a hike or camp out, make sure you know who is carrying this kit so that if you need to access any of the supplies, you can get to them quickly. But today we're just going to be taking a look at what you should have in your kit. So in your book, you will actually find a personal first aid kit list that shows you what you should have in your kit. Now, long story short, this is what you're going to have in your kit, and this is what I'm going to show you today. Um, but towards the end of the video, I am going to show you how to improve on this list and make it a little bit better. So the first thing to talk about when we're putting together our kit is what are we going to put it in. Now, I've chosen to put my kit in this canvas bag. I like this because I can put it on my belt and it has multiple compartments for me to store stuff in and keep me organized. You don't need to do this though, that's kind of overkill. Really what I've seen most of my guys doing is just using a Ziploc bag. This works completely fine and is honestly what I would really recommend. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what all is in here. So starting at the top of our list here, we have six latex-free adhesive bandages, two sterile three by three inch gauze pads, a small roll of latex tape, a three by six inch piece of moleskin. I don't have that size, so I just have two of these pieces. A small bar of soap or a small bottle of alcohol-based hand sanitizing gel, a small tube of triple antibiotic ointment or neosporin, a small tube of hydrocortisone cream, scissors, tweezers, disposable latex-free gloves, a CPR breathing barrier, a pencil, and notepad. So by itself, this is a really decent kit. If you just want to stop here and just go off of what your book says, that's completely fine. This is a great kit, highly would recommend. But I'm going to show you a couple of things that we can do to improve it. First thing I'm going to recommend you do is instead of taking an entire roll of tape, Fold up a piece like this. This is about four feet of tape and it's really slim compared to this entire roll. Also, go ahead and fold back a little bit of the tape so it's easier for you to pull it off of the strip. Next thing I'm gonna recommend you do is you go ahead and replace your pencil with a Sharpie. The reason being is that pencils, although they're great, um, they're not as easy to see. They can poke holes in your Ziploc bag and you have to keep them sharp. Sharpie eliminates all those problems. The next thing I'm going to recommend you do is ditch the scissors. You don't need these. The reason being is that anything you're doing, you should have a knife with you, and that knife should have some sort of cutting implement, whether it be scissors or a knife. Now, depending on how long the trip you're taking is going to be, you may want to consider taking some Tylenol or Ibuprofen. Now, the final thing I'm going to recommend you add to your kit is a little piece of duct tape. Now, this is about four feet, and it's rolled up similar to my medical tape here. The reason why I take duct tape is because it is a good alternative to moleskin. Moleskin tends to be expensive and you don't get very much of it when you buy it. So duct tape fixes both of those problems. Now, what I will caution you is that some of the guys in my troop get rashes from duct tape. So before you take it in your first aid kit, make sure you try it out on somewhere on your body just to make sure that it doesn't give you a rash. Now, regardless of whether it gives you a rash or not, you should always be taking duct tape with you in your pack it's just a really useful tool that you should always have with you. So that's the entire kit right there. I'll go ahead and put a checklist up on screen if you want to assemble this kit yourself. Now, I will say that first aid kits are situational. So depending on what you're going to be doing and how long you're going to be doing it, you may want to adjust the kit accordingly. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.